Welcome, thank you so much for joining, and I hope you are having a fantastic day, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's your host, Galadon, and today's episode, well, okay, it started as one thing and has kind of morphed into another, and what I mean is, the original intention was to just show you some maxed out bases getting crushed in recent wars and talk about the state of offense, defense, and maxed bases, and then I thought, wait a minute, you know what, let's talk about this most recent update and where it is taking Clash of Clans. I would also like to hear your feedback, the viewers, the players, as what you think about this most recent update and what you think is coming next. Before we get into that, if you have a moment, please do the most important thing you can for the channel, and that is to just take a second to subscribe, maybe turn on notifications, hit the like button if you would as well, and always remember to use code Galadon in-game, or like I said, any creator code. Just use somebody's creator code. You don't have to use mine, but it's Supercell helping out hardworking creators, and we thank you. Okay, so let's talk about this most recent update, which was kind of like uh, a mini update, a bonus update, a, a surprise update. A lot of people, even content creators, weren't expecting an update like this, one that really had no sneak peeks. It was all at once, here you go, and then it showed up a couple of days later. And there wasn't the typical new content that most players are accustomed to seeing from a traditional update. Well, this was certainly not a traditional update, but nonetheless, I think a lot of people are going to be very happy about it. And okay, here's my opinion of this update. I honestly think the Clash of Clans team just threw us a bone. And, and I, mean this, I mean this in a good way. That sounds bad, but I mean it in a good way. This was a cool update. This is a feature that any player from Town Hall 7 or above is going to appreciate. So it improves the quality of life of just about every Clash of Clans player, but it also doesn't have the stuff that a lot of people were expecting. New troops, new levels, new buildings, new defenses, whatever the case may be. All of those things we've come to kind of expect. And I'll be honest, that is not what Clash of Clans needs right now, right? We don't need a bunch of stuff that players neither need to grind out or spend gems on we need content that is similar to what we just saw. And what I mean is, it's going to be different, it's going to be unexpected, and it's going to be affecting almost every Clash player. Top level players, yes, of course, the Town Hall 14s, there are many that are maxed out right now that want more stuff, but honestly, we just got an update with some new wall levels and other defense levels, so they could still have stuff to grind out. Maybe the next update could include a little bit of both. Let's get a few more levels for those maxed out players that want to keep grinding, but let's also get something really big that everybody can enjoy. And no, I definitely do not mean Town Hall 15. Now, Town Hall 15 most likely is coming, I would say probably around the end of this year, right? About 18 months cycle for new Town Halls. Also, let's think about the Clash of Clans 2022 World Championship. You don't want to have a new Town Hall drop mid-cycle where they're working on the Million Dollar World Championships because that's just, it's either going to be unfair or it's going to force players to gem and you don't ever want, as Supercell, you don't ever want to come across as forcing players to spend a bunch of money in order for things to be fair because that makes the game pay to win. And let's be honest, games do not succeed if they are truly pay to win. Pay to progress faster, I can understand. Pay to straight out win, hopefully never. And actually, if that ever were to happen in Clash of Clans, you would know it was the beginning of the end. You would know that the game developers had pretty much given up on the game. And I even made a video about that. It was titled something like 10 Signs Clash of Clans is Dying. And those were days Danger signs, things you want to look for. If they're happening, you know that it's not a good sign for Clash. And the good thing is, none of those things are happening in Clash of Clans right now. I think the Hero's Extra Life was a great balance between let's give the players something they want and making life a little bit easier. You can't, like, make armies train up instantly. You know, that's something that would be a terrible sign. If suddenly you could train a full army in an instant with no gems, no worrying about boosting or free barracks. That would be a really terrible sign. The same with upgrade times. It takes two weeks to upgrade this expo. If it suddenly became two hours, you would know there is something really, really wrong. We may, however, see some more reductions in upgrade costs and time 
overtime, but I think that is, again, trying to reduce that new player friction. You have to realize that a brand new Town Hall 1 player looks at Town Hall 15 and goes, man, I'm never going to get there. Why do I even bother? And the older a game gets, the more it has to think about those new players and helping them get to the higher point in the game where they want to be, but at the same time, not putting a rifle in a baby's hands, right? You know, you've got to at least get them a little bit trained, a little bit accustomed to how to play the game before you throw somebody into a Max Town Hall 14 CWL. I mean, it just, that that is a bad thing. So anyway, now I've kind of gone off the subject, but I just wanted to kind of loop back around and say that yes, I do think that the next update that we're going to see is going to be significant. And I really think that because of this update, this update obviously was cool things that probably did not take the Clash of Clans team as much time to create, right? Think about what happened in this last update and realize that, wait a minute, what's the Clash of Clans team doing over there? Are they sitting around picking their noses or playing solitaire? No, 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 they're probably doing something else very, very important. And also for those of you that are not familiar with the way Supercell teams work, the team that works on Clash of Clans only works on Clash of Clans. They do not work on Clash Royale or Brawl Stars or Heyday or Clash Quest or Everdale or Clash Heroes or Clash Mini. Their only focus, their only job is to work on Clash of Clans. So that's good. We know we have a dedicated game team over there and we know that they are fans of the game. They are dedicated to bringing us better content. And that's why I'm convinced, I'm absolutely convinced that they are working on something really, really big, something that everybody is going to love and something that obviously takes a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of people hours. So that's kind of where I'm leaning to thinking. Obviously this update was cool and it seems like it's being pretty well received so far uh, beyond the glitches that have happened and those seem to be being taken care of in maintenances. But yes, so I think that's where we're headed. I don't think the next big update is Town Hall 15. I still think that's going to come probably around December or whenever that big update is after the 2022 World Championships. But I do think we're going to see something exciting. And when I say big, I think it's along the lines of as big as the Gold Pass, as big as Clan Games, as big as CWL. It's going to be another massive addition to Clash of Clans that's going to keep players from Town Halls 1 to 14 engaged and hopefully get them logging on more frequently because that really is the goal to keep players logging on to keep them logging those hours and grinding out those levels because remember it's not just about getting players to spend money because you've got to have the free to play players you have to have a massively huge player base that is active in order to have a successful game yes there will be players that spend thousands there will be players more players that spend zero and all of that works out to a balanced game that has a lot of engaged players and well we're just gonna have to wait and see because the last point i want to make is you know that whatever this is is going to kind of come out of left field it is not going to be something exactly like anybody has predicted it is going to be an unexpected and cool twist to Clash of Clans, and that's why I am excited and I'm super happy to be where I am right now, and that is ignorant. And, and what I mean is I don't know what's coming in the next update yet, so I'm as excited on the edge of my seat as you guys are, and I promise to bring you the earliest and most accurate update information, so thank you as always. Please do consider subscribing. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. True Galafam. I love thinking about and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. And I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Galigon, Galigon, did I hear you say you're ignorant? For once, you say something accurate. <laughs>